The OLED and LED LCD screens are the two major types of displays seen in modern televisions. The Mini LED is the latest generation of LED LCD technology, which is constantly growing. Mini LED, like other LCD generations, tries to address the shortcomings of its parent technology in a variety of ways. Is Mini LED set to become the next great thing in television technology? And how does it match up against OLED, the current king of premium TVs? Can it truly compete with OLED in terms of brightness, contrast, HDR capability and response time or even offer QLED the edge it requires? Keep watching till the end to find out. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other outstanding videos. Thank you. The ultimate advancement in LCD technology, the result of decades of development and breakthroughs appear to be mini LED. Mini LED, despite its name, is still a transmissive technology based on LCD panels with the LED part referring to the type of backlight technology used. Per pixel lighting. When it comes to per pixel lighting, OLED has a significant edge. OLED is a self emissive technology, meaning that each pixel is its light source, allowing for complete brightness and contrast adjustment. While Mini LED is designed to improve backlight management, in LCD TVs it operates in a somewhat different way than OLED. Mini LED TVs to be released soon are predicted to contain up to 3000 illuminated zones. Although this is a significant improvement over conventional LCD TVs, it still suggests low resolution control over lighting and contrast. OLED's per pixel illumination on the other hand implies that a 4K TV contains almost 8 million zones. Think about that for a moment. Imagine a panel that is completely black except for a single pixel out of 8 million. That is pure dazzling white since that is fully possible with an OLED. In a 4K panel with roughly 3000 lighting zones, each backlit zone would drive around 2700 pixels on a mini LED set. LG OLED TVs are ultra slim with outstanding picture quality thanks to the self-lit pixel technology. LED and mini LED TVs on the other hand use backlights in combination with a variety of additional display layered affecting both screen thickness and picture quality. The halo effect is also caused by backlights which prohibit TVs from presenting complete black. LEDs can't compete with OLED no matter how many backlights are utilized or how thin they are. Self-lit pixels can display even the tiny star in the darkest sky with pinpoint accuracy and clarity. In other words, mini LEDs will not be able to provide precise lighting for particularly intricate things. At least not in any of the mini LED versions that have been revealed thus far. As a result, the HDR performance of mini LEDs will be harmed. Peak brightness will not be a problem for a mini LED. However, eliminating artifacts such as brilliant halos around dark objects will not be possible. OLED is the clear victor in this category in my opinion. Brightness. Depending upon the display technology used by a TV, the same material can appear differently. Self-lit pixels switch on and off in LG OLED TVs to provide perfect darkness and endless contrast. Backlights on LED and mini LED TVs are not self-emissive. This implies they won't be able to achieve pure darkness and may experience the halo effect. There is no light bleed and no halo with self-lit pixels, so you get the perfect black and greater image quality. OLED televisions aren't particularly bright. The typical reaction is that they don't need to be because the contrast is already so good. The dynamic difference or contrast between light and dark pixels is dramatic because OLED can achieve particularly perfect black levels. Sony has unveiled a new OLED screen with a claimed brightness of 1300 units, while LG claims a 20% boost over previous generation displays. However, it's possible that the 1300 nit figure is misleading and that it can only be achieved for a brief time across a limited section of the panel. Indeed, current OLED panels often produce less than 200 nits of full panel continuous brightness, whereas the brightest LED backlit LCD TVs may achieve up to 800 nits. Mini LED is simply going to increase the chasm. Until otherwise demonstrated, Mini LED is a clear winner. 
But keep in mind that pure brightness isn't the only factor to consider when it comes to HDR performance and contrast. This category, which is dependent on the measure, is a tie. Viewing Angles The term Mini-LED is a bit of a misnomer. Mini-LED TVs are essentially the current generation of LCD panels with sophisticated backlights. The core concept of shining light through an array of liquid crystal cells is still a place as are the inherent constraints such as the loss of color control when viewing the panel off axis. When it comes to viewing angles, OLED displays are unrivaled. OLED on the other hand, as a self-emissive technology in which light is generated by the pixel itself has far better viewing angles than LCD, including mini-LED. Without a doubt, OLED is the winner in this area. Speed and response. There are two main concerns here. One is the time delay between the output of video data from a device, such as a console, PC, or set-top box. And a viewable image on a particular screen, also known as lag or latency. The other is the time it takes for pixels to change state in response to new image inputs. The former is influenced by a variety of factors, many of which are unrelated to panel type, such as imaging processing and refresh rates. It's a bit of a guess, but LCD panels are now the fastest screens in terms of latency, but they're usually gaming monitors rather than TVs. When it comes to response, however, OLED technology has an inherent edge. Because the movement of crystals in response to an electrical charge is required to update the image on an LCD. In recent years, this process has accelerated. It does, however, take time and as a result deciding whether to use mini-LED or an OLED for gaming is difficult. Although the best high refresh mini-LED screens will have lesser latency, OLED panels will have better pixel response. This category ends in a tie. Color Accuracy OLED used to be the king in this category, but nanoparticles have improved the purity of the backlight, allowing LED TVs to catch up to OLED TVs in terms of color accuracy color brightness and color volume. Both OLED and LED TV models to enable wide color gamut and HDR, making them ideal for anyone looking for these capabilities. And when seen in dark settings, OLED's higher contrast ratio will give it a little advantage in terms of HDR. But HDR on a quality LED TV screen has an advantage since it can generate well-saturated colors at extreme brightness levels than OLED can't quite match. This is also a tie in this category. Endurance and reliability. Mini-LED is a relatively recent technology, but only in terms of scale. It uses the same LED technology as regular LCD panels, but the LEDs are smaller and more common. As a result, durability and dependability should not be a worry. In the case of OLED, however, this is not the case. Of course, the O in OLED stands for organic, which is where the concern begins. OLED panels to summarize are made up of small, red, green, and blue organic LEDs. Regrettably, the blue LEDs deteriorate more quickly than the others. This can cause individual pixels' color balance to alter over time when a persistent image is displayed, such as an operating system's menu, and this happens more quickly. The outcome can be burned in, where a ghostly shadow of the persistent image stays visible even when another image is projected. OLED burn-in, on the other hand, can be minimized through a variety of methods and isn't an issue with today's OLED sets. However, OLED technology is less durable than traditional non-organic LED backlights. This category has been won by Mini-LED. Price Until now, OLED televisions had been the more expensive option. As a result, they haven't expanded their reach across the market and continue to be the premium alternative. The latest 8th generation OLED substrates, which will be used in TVs later this year, are likely to be the most affordable ever. Mini-LED implementations, on the other hand, are more complicated and expensive than any prior LCD backlit technology. According to some industry observers, Mini-LED panels are only 10% cheaper than conventional OLED screens due to their high manufacturing complexity. When you include in the lower 8th generation OLED panels, the price might come quite close. For the time being, it's a tie between OLED and Mini-LED. Mini-LEDs are still in development. TCL was the first to market with Mini-LED sets, but upcoming implementations from LG and Samsung are expected to include substantially more lighting zones. It's unclear how many zones are needed to eliminate problems like halos and booming to the point 
where they are no longer apparent to most users. Similarly, we don't know how much brighter or less expensive the upcoming 8th generation OLED screens will be. However, on the balance of probabilities, OLED's per pixel nature will almost certainly give it the upper hand. Thank you for staying with me till the end, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I will see you guys later.